Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the floor and ceiling node. I'm going to go ahead and pull up this quick little example here. I'm going to cover floor and ceiling at the same time because like the min and max, they're basically the same node, just the opposite. These are math nodes, which means you can access them in the math section of your pop-up or your palette. And because these are math nodes, they're going to function pretty much identically to the normal functions inside of Blueprints or C++ or any other language. So, the goal of the seal and the floor are basically ceiling and floor. It'll give you the top or the bottom value of a float converted into an integer is basically how it's going to work. So, for example, if I had a value of 0.5, half of 1, and I told it to do a ceiling, it's going to give me a 1. It's going to round it up, basically. If I told it to give me a floor of 0.5, it's going to round it down, and it's going to give me a 0. So you can use on your ceiling and floor nodes. We'll go ahead and cover ceiling first. There's no parameters. Basically, it just takes an input, and then it gives you an output. So if, for example, we were to pipe in a zero, then you can expect my output is going to be pretty simple. What's the closest integer to zero? It's going to be zero. If I was to go ahead and change this to, let's say, 0.5 and do ceiling, we're going to get one because 0.5, the rounded up because it's ceiling, again, it's the next integer is going to be one. If we did this to 0.1, we're going to get the same result. We're going to get 1 because that is the next integer. It goes up. If we were to put this into floor and look at our output, it's going to give us the next lower integer or 0, which is black. Even if this is 0 0.99, it's still going to give us the lower integer, which is going to be 0, and it's going to give us black. So that's how your floor and your seal nodes work. Now with textures or with colors, it's basically going to apply to each channel. So here I have a red image, a vector 3, with a 0.1 for red, 0 and 0 for green and blue. And I'm going to apply it to seal. Now this is my input image, which is going to be this dark red. When I actually apply it to my texture using seal, it's going to give me a bright red because what it's going to do is it's going to apply the seal to each of these input values. So my R is going to become 1, my green is going to stay 0, and my blue is going to stay 0. Now if I even if I change this to 0.99, we're still going to get the same result. It's going to go up to a 1. Now hopefully you can expect and guess what's going to happen when I plug this into my floor node. It's basically going to round down to the lowest integer. So my red value is going to become 0, green 0, and blue 0. Now if this was above, let's say, a 1 value, what you're going to see is this 1.5 is going to floor down to the closest integer, which means this red value is going to become a 1, green will stay 0, and blue will stay 0. And of course, that's going to give me a red image. So that is what our seal and our floor is for. Let me show you this quick little example here of a use for it. I'm taking a linear gradient node. Basically, this is just simply going to give me a linear gradient. If I was to plug this directly in on a U gradient, we're going to see a gradient from left to right. And if I did it on the V, it would be from bottom to top. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking this gradient and plugging it into my multiply node and multiplying it by 8. So it gives me an 8 times value for each of the values. So my black is going to be 0 times 8. My next shade will be you know, 0 0.1 times 8. And it's going to go all the way up to white, where my white value is going to be 8. I take and I seal that out. So basically, it's going to round up all of my multiples. And then I divide it by 8, which is the exact number of times I multiplied it. And what that does is it gives me this really cool little bar effect out of my smooth gradient because I'm multiplying all these values by 8 and then rounding them up to solid values. So each of these chunks are, you know, this might be 0.2, this might be 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 
all the way up because it's being rounded with my seal node. So that is what our seal and our floor node is for. It's a way to turn an input into the next highest or the next lowest even integer. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.